<sighs> What's going on? I have to work me out to another one tech review. This is my review of um I got it real real spaz. I had to do a a, 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 a a eulogy tonight uh for a few people. So anyway, I had to work me out to another DC TV talk episode, I think episode twelve. I don't know. You just never know about these things. Well I'm covering Gotham episode ten. All right. I'm gonna jump right into this motherfucker. I thought the little boy was dead. They should have killed him. The only thing I, only reason I think they don't, they didn't kill him because like, oh no, we can't kill a little kid on that on TV, even though it's just a TV show. Bro, you kill him, you make Penguin look so much savage, and you can, and, and you cut off that weakness that that's pretty much in him because Penguin, although he's a savage character, he has a lot. His his heart, he, he, he says in this episode, his heart's his weakness. And, and people pretty much exploit that to the extreme. So I thought he was gonna kill the little boy. It's all good. Another thing that I really like is that Sophia was so many steps ahead every time. No matter what predicament she was put in, she was always steps ahead of Penguin. I like first thing I liked when she when she pretty much told Penguin, like, yeah, I've been trying to fuck over you this entire time. And like Penguin was pretty much sad, looking like a little bitch. Whew, got a little harsh there, but yeah, the penguin pretty much looking like a bitch. And then she told the dentist, like, yo, I know where your 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 wife and your kids said. So if something happened to me, bitch, they die too. I'm like, damn, so filled with the shits. But then we had to bring in Barbara and you know what I'm saying, Tabitha. And I never get tired of licking at Tabitha, but I pretty much get tired of Barbara because Barbara's like, her and Penguin will make a good couple because both of them motherfuckers are crazy and, and just look crazy. Also, another thing that bothers me about Gotham is why does Lee have to look so dark and gloomy like every... I know, listen, that's pretty much the tone of the show, dark. But the purple lipstick and the dark eyeshadow, man, it's kind of, it's kind of like distracting from her. It's not really... And the way they got her hair, it's, it's, come on, it's not really her. Like, but the shit she did with her old fat boy, that was pretty savage, though. Even though he was savage before and we get stuck with Enigma and the Riddler coming back fucking with his head mm -hmm, little, little shit. I still want to see my nigga Bruce you know what I'm saying because I'm, I'm enjoying I was enjoying the stuff they had going on with him with him and this whole I chill the wild and getting drunk you know what I'm saying probably fuck some hoes you know what I'm saying that you're big in that Bruce Wayne that's what he's supposed to do the play for it you know what I'm saying take about three four girls home to the crib you know what I'm saying that I kind of want to see that. Let them, let them live a little bit. Also, not something else that really just stuck out to me is like the fact that uh, now I fuck with my boy, my boy Zaz. Zaz one of my favorite characters, and he pretty much just blew up they whole shit. Like he didn't even go in there looking for nobody. He just blew the shit up. If they didn't have cameras in there, they was fucked. Like Zaz he hesitated nothing in broad daylight. But my thing is, Sophia goes to Jim Gordon, who instead of fucking with the pig, it was, they always have a lot of stuff to go on in these episodes. But you get Sophia fucking with the pig, not Sophia. Sophia go back to Jim Gordon and tell her, hey, I almost just got killed. He put her in handcuffs. Nigga, what the fuck? I just, I'm, I'm, I want to file a complaint. I almost got, I just almost got assassinated. Nigga, go arrest somebody. This nigga Jim's like, well, you need to get out of the city. Bitch, no, you need to do your job, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Protect the serve, nigga. Like, no, you using me. It doesn't matter, motherfucker. I almost got killed. Go do your job. That that shit crazy. That shit crazy. But I, I didn't know about the little boy Malcolm. I never knew if it, if he was like double crossing or what. Cause I never. I thought Sophia had him in her back pocket as well. So I didn't know how that was. Um, he ends up leaving the town, but kind of like I said, him him dying would have made a bigger impact for me. It would make it would gave Penguin more. This is not cool to kill kids, but in the, in the essence of the show, it kind of would have been like, oh shit, Penguin ain't bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He he, he do with that weak shit. That's kind of why I'm at with it for the show's sake. Don't kill kids. Don't harm kids. None of that. Crazy, I gotta make a disclaimer for a fucking review. Uh, that pretty much was it. 
I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Some stuff, I, like I said, it was kind of like, yo, you're not going to help people. And the stuff with Professor Pig kind of was like, didn't need to be in this episode, but I see why they put it there. And also, his his country accent wasn't this, doesn't. I'm from the South myself, and I don't think I got an accent. And not that damn strong. They just like, oh, he just acting so fucking strong like come on now come on now Jim and I don't think the way Professor P was so calm and shit I don't think he would have been dumb enough to get robbed up by Jim that easily <sighs> but you know gotta move the story some kind of way so you gotta let me know what you thought about this week's episode of Gotham hit that like button subscribe to my channel also I got a review up for Crisis on Earth X which is probably like the best crossover we've ever had so Probably the best movie, DC, one of the best DC movies I've ever seen. Probably one of the best comic book movies I've ever seen. So you guys go over there and check that out. Hit that like button for you. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it too. Peace out, people.